It's over 90 degrees outside, but inside Kelly and Matt Grokoff's Ann Arbor home, it's a comfortable 72 degrees and that comfort isn't costing them a penny on their energy bill. In March of 2011, we paid our last energy bill ever. The Grokoff's April energy bill was a minus $63.34. It's just great to be able to have this comfortable environment and, and not feel guilty about it in any way. Solar panels on the roof provided the finishing touch to a project that turned this early 1900s dwelling into an energy miser. We insulated around the sill in the basement. We insulated our walls and in the attic. We changed the light bulbs to more energy efficient LEDs and compact fluorescents. We put motion sensors on all the lights. We changed our shower head so that it uses 11,000 gallons less of hot water every year. And then the big things, the green bling, is uh, we put in geothermal heating and air conditioning, which also heats our hot water. And then once we got really, really super efficient, then we put solar panels up on the roof that produces more energy than, than we need for the house. There are fewer than 100 houses in the country that have become net zero. And net zero means that the house produces more energy than the occupants consume. So it's, it's a pretty extraordinary thing that we've taken a 110-year-old house and made it net zero. If you'd like to learn more about what Kelly and Matt are doing here, they're going to open their home. Two others as well will take part in an open house during Mission Zero Fest Saturday and Sunday here in Ann Arbor. We've got all the information, the details you need on our website at WXYZ.com. In Ann Arbor, Dave Llewellyn, Channel 7 Action News.